the more slow you put the water, the better is going to be the, the dough. Panuzzo. Please tell me what you think in the comment. Come out perfect, nice and crispy. I see. I mean, guys, check this out. Wow. Hello guys from my studio Copelli and welcome back to my channel. I mean, take a look of this pizza. Crunch. Mmm, perfect texture. I have a little secret right here, little secret. Today I'm going to show you how to make another level of New York style pizza. Also, I'm going to show you how to make a perfect, lovely panuzzo with a burger. So it's a mix of Naples, New York. What's going on today? New York style, Naples style, a lot of things going on. Full recipe, of course, in description, the full recipe details. This pizza is cooked in another level of pizza oven. So stay tuned because this is going to be an amazing video. Enjoy this recipe, smash the like, remember to subscribe and share this channel, it's free. Okay, we start to put the foolish inside. And today here I'm going to teach you how to properly build the glue. So this process is also good for any type of pizza dough. We're gonna do a little bit different, cornmeal. Now, let's add the flour. A little bit, turn it on, and uh, let's integrate this flour for just a few seconds. There we go, in the meantime, let's add the flour, the rest of the flour, little by little. Now let's wait that everything it becomes all together. Okay, the flour is getting there. Now let's get the water, pay attention to this step. Let's put the salt in the water. Mix until we melt the salt. Before putting the water, let's add the, the olive oil, little by little. Low speed for now. Done. Now let's wait that all this uh, flour gets integrated and then we can add the water little by little. We're gonna build a really strong gluten structure here. Okay at this point let's get the water with salt and we drop it little by little not all together it's very important. Okay now we wait we're gonna go little by little until we put all this water and then it's gonna be ready. The more slow you put the water, the better is going to be the, the dough. Let's speed up a little bit more. So we're gonna wait until we see that the water, uh, the, when we see that the dough absorbs the water, we are ready to add more water. There we go, like you can see now it's getting, it's catching the dough. This process, it can take about five to 10 minutes. Done. Let's say with the water, now we wait that Now we wait that this dough absorbs all the water and uh, it's, it's ready. So see? So like you can see the dough is getting all, uh, all together and then it's nice and clean the sides. So this is a good sign that the dough is uh, it's building the gluten structure good. So done. Voila. Our dough is ready and complete. So now let it rest for about uh, five minutes in the dough machine. Okay, now let's go to the second step. Little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands, on the counter, just lightly, little bit. Now let's grab uh, our dough. There we go. So now, let's get the dough. The goal here is to make it nice and smooth. So like that, you're gonna grab it from the center and uh, we make a balloon. At this point, a little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands and then tap, tap, tap on top. Cover up 
lightly with the plastic wrap. Let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature before making the ball. There we go, guys. Like you can see, voila, 30 minutes pass by, and like you can see here, the gluten is nice and strong. Only in this case, because we are doing New York style, we can add flour on top and not the olive oil. So let's go ahead and let's cut the dough in two parts. Here we go. And let's make the balls. Look at this, how strong it is. Wow, it's full of air. So we're gonna make the dough balls around 300 grams because we're gonna make a nice big uh, New York style pizza. So this is how you make the dough, uh, how you make the balls. You put the dough under and then voila, like you can see, make like a balloon. You put the dough inside, 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 and then you cut like that and then pull it. No, no, don't pull it, just two. Do it like this. Like you can see, we are going to have four nice dough balls for our nice 14 to 16 inches pizza. Place it inside a container. Boom. And now let it rest for one hour at room temperature. And of course, guys, I bring you outside because today we are going to use this fantastic oven. I want to take like two, three minutes to talk about this, uh, this pizza oven. I mean, I've been using it. Uh, I have to say it's a master. Piece. So this oven is very particular. I really love it because uh, it's a few different things. So we got uh, the option of gas. Right now, like you can see, I, I basically fire up the oven with gas. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead after using the wood. So this is uh, fantastic. Always I suggest to you do guys to buy an oven that is gas and wood. So, but uh, why we are here today? So let me turn it on the, see, even the, the thermometer. So why we are here today? Because today is the new launch of this uh, pizza oven, the dome from Gosney. They are launching it today, available in uh, USA, all UK. And now from today, guys, it's available and uh, coming soon, maybe all, all over the world. So for now, US and the UK, it's uh, available. And trust me, they have a lot in stock. Get it and the price is really good. Go ahead, click on the link in description. And then uh, if you click in the link below, of course, you're gonna get a $100 pizza peel from Gosney for free. But how you do that is follow the instruction below. You click in the link, add the, the pizza dome, then make sure you add the pizza peel, and then at the checkout, put the code Vito Dome. I'm gonna show you that with this oven, you can control the temperature how you want it. So that's the good thing. So right now we have the max temperature, and only in about 20 minutes is already 833 Fahrenheit. So uh, also you can, you got two flame, and then you, you're gonna see in a little bit that I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off the flame. When we are going to cook the pizza, I'm gonna turn it off the flame and cook it with wood. Something very particular this oven is this, guys. This is the only oven. I mean, I have 25 of experience and this is the first time finding this oven with a steam injector. So you know what this means? You put the water inside this thing here. Basically, in the back here, we have the little, uh, little plug. You leave that in, get the door, you close, the lock the, the, you seal it basically, turn it off everything, and guys, like a magic, I'm gonna leave it like this, this way I save the temperature. Uh, like a magic, you can steam the bread. I mean, guys, click, uh, comment below if you wanna see how this oven will steam. So it's the first ever pizza oven the steams for bread it's excellent i'm gonna try to steam a pizza i re i always review pizza oven and thing and uh, tools for pizza this oven is really particular i love it for uh, for beginning of the house it's uh, i mean beginner if you want to go ahead and level up a little bit your skills this is a really good oven the quality it's good i personally have it and uh, i enjoy it because i've been making pizza few pizzas easy to use let's get ready with ingredients and let's make this new york style and it's See how this beast will cook the pizza New York style. Let's get ready with the ingredients.
there we go guys uh, one hour and a half one hour passed by and uh, we prep all the ingredients we saw how to prep uh, very simple this is uh, this is gonna be a classic new york style pizza so i want to i want you to get ready Let's take a look out the door is boom voila fantastic i mean you see it's uh, it's hard that's what we want because this dough, it's, uh, it's gonna be crunchy and soft in the same, maybe so only crunchy, <laughs> not really soft and crunchy, that's for Neapolitan pizza. Wait until the end because uh, I'm going also to test this over. I'm gonna cook like a little burger. Uh, we're gonna make like a, a panuozzo with, uh, uh, with a burger. A Neapolitan style mix with uh, New York style. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay guys, before we start the pizza, we're gonna cook this pizza with uh, wood option. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put one and two pieces there to warm up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fire up. To, I prefer to have the wood and gas on this side because uh, if, I, if I don't wanna cook it in with wood, have a high temperature, I just go ahead and fire up this way. Oh, see, it's already out, on. So now watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put a little bit of uh, the wood on the side here, but uh, of course, pay attention, uh, be careful, don't, uh, don't put the wood inside the gas, in, inside the gas thing there. So I'm gonna keep it outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically turn it off the gas. I like it to, I was saying that, I like to have it this side because if I wanna cook it with a high, high, high temperature, I go ahead and fire up the, the gas. So I have both gas and wood. So right now, because uh, the temperature needs to be around 650 for Neapolitan, uh, for uh, New York style, I'm gonna just turn it off and just leave the wood. So right now it's warming up and let's make the pizza. Here you go guys, make sure you wait until the end because we're gonna make some uh, Neapolitan New York style uh, panini, basically. There we go, take a look of the dough after one hour. So guys, I have mixed here of uh, F semolina, F flour. Let's go ahead, let's grab this. The dough, it's perfect texture. Grab the dough, boom. Oh man, I mean, you have to see this. You have to see this. Take a look of, I mean, did you see the air? That's the goal. So a couple of times in the flour, flour on the floor, then boom, upside down. Make sure top on top, bottom on the bottom. So right now we press the crust. We press all the air outside and then we go in the center. Ta ta ta, here, since it's not too hard the dough, because I might change, it depends on the flour that you're using. So uh, since it's, too, it's not too soft, so uh, it's not too hard, I go ahead and press, just press with your fingers. So see what I'm doing? I'm just pressing pressing and pressing. So now I go easy little by little. When you want to do this, you have to go through the on the on the sides here because if you go in the center, you're going to make a hole. So little by little, you go ahead and just do this stretch as slowly as slowly as slowly. So now the bottom, you remember, is on the top. So the dough needs to be on the top. This way, a little bit of flour on the floor and then boom, put it down. So we have the top on the top. This way the air doesn't blow. So we wanna make the pizza nice and big. We have this tomato sauce that we prep with a little bit of oregano, salt, and olive oil, a couple of spoon, and then from the center, go little circle, little circle, and then bigger and bigger. Go all the way to the crust, all the way. The more you go, the better. But don't, be careful, <laughs> don't put tomato sauce on the floor. Otherwise the pizza is gonna stick. If you do that, it goes the tomato sauce on the floor like that. Watch this, pay attention, gently with the spatula, take off the tomato, put a little bit of flour under where the tomato was and don't touch it anymore. This way the pizza will not stuck, stick, stick. Parmesan cheese everywhere, little extra. I like to put the basil on the on the on the bottom of the pizza just a little bit you know it gives a little flavor let's go ahead and let's put our uh, mix of uh, cheese that we prep a little bit of provolone a little bit of uh, shredded cheese american style and a little extra here and there 
Boom. Really, I want to feel I'm in New York. Now, pepperoni, quality pepperoni, guys. Did you see how I'm putting the, the pepperoni? Just follow the sign. It's like a painting a piece of, uh, of art. Because, you know, guys, pizza, it's art. Pizza, it's art. Okay, now, peel. A little bit of flour on the peel. If it's a little sticky, just don't worry about Put a little bit of flour on the floor. This peel is a little bit too small. This piece is big, so don't worry about that. Nothing is going to happen. Gently, don't panic. A little bit of flour right there. And then one shot. Little by little, you put it on the peel. So the pizza here, I repeat, it's a... One more time. It's a little bit bigger. So I want to make it 14 inches. So, and this pizza is only 12, and uh, this pizza peel is only 12. Let's go ahead and let's put it in the oven. Gas is off, little bit of flame. Let's get the pizza and let's go all the way. Gently drop the pizza and then boom, pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pizza is in the oven. Voila. Now we let it cook. Little by little until it becomes a little bit brown in one side and then we can take it out. Let me get the plate here. I'm gonna get ready with the, with the burger too because this is gonna be special. It's cooking lovely. Wow, perfection. Keep it there. See, we want that little crispy there. Ow! Oh man, how is it cooking? Lovely, wow. And it's coming nice and crispy. Guys, you're gonna give the time to the pizza. We want a little bit of crispiness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you in a little bit, don't worry about. Really, actually, this is gonna be another level. Woo, I can see already the crispiness of this pizza. Wow. Wow. Give the time, voila, guys. I mean, guys, check this out. Wow, oh boy, look at this, it's smoking, look at this, at this pizza, please, please, smash, tell, like, whoa, I feel in New York now, wow, I feel in New York, I mean, take a look, so crunchy, that's what I'm talking about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hold on, before we cut it, let me put this, this burger inside this, this pizza oven. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Very simple, guys. There we go. Be careful, nice and hot. Just dump the, ooh, the burger inside the, the pan and put it back in the oven. Take a look at the bottom. Take a look of the bottom. Take a look, it's perfection. It's nice and crispy. That's the goal of New York style pizza. This is the goal. Let's get ready with the, the panuzzo. This one, you want a slice? Guys, I wanna show you, I wanna show you the slice that we are talking about. Un po' spicy, spicy. Oh yeah. That's correct. Let's put a little bit of Parmesan on top. Yeah. Voila. Little bit of basil. Little bit of, basta, basta. Little bit of uh, olive oil. And guys, here we have the perfect slice of New York style. Ah, no, 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 wait, wait. Aspetta, about. And here we have the perfect New York style slice of pizza. I can't, I can't wait to go ahead and taste it. Mm. Wow, guys! I mean, here, hear this. Mmm. Mm. 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 Here we go. It's it's crunchy like uh, I want to. <laughs> I'm eating. I mean, I'm gonna eat this one in a little bit. Ooh, already cooked. Papa. Let's flip a burger. Voila. 
Voilà. Let's uh, get ready with uh, the panuozzo. Wow. It's looking lovely. A little bit of flour right there. Grab the dough. In the flour. Just like that, two times. Guys, it's easy. It's easy. Wait. Wait. Here, this is for you and this is for me. So again, in the flour, a couple of times. Voila. So just press it lightly. Make the shape that you want to make. We're going to make a circle. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Not too, don't press too much. Just lightly. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Voila. So now, a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. No, 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 no. Little bit of uh, olive oil right there. Little bit of salt. Not too much. And uh, a little bit of pepper. Guys, this is the panozzo. Voila. Let's go ahead and let's put it in the oven. Perfect, guys. Our burgers are ready. I'm going to keep it right here one second on the side. And uh, let's get the, our, our, our uh, panozzo and let's put it in the oven. Boom. Lower down the flame at minimum and let's cook this panozzo. And then I show you how to make, I show you how to make the panozzo Neapolitan, New York style. <laughs> I have to say this texture of the cornmeal really give a, a nice texture. I mean, did you see? how it is, it gives the nice, uh, even the, the nice taste. Nice taste. I mean, this is my first time using this. Uh, this is my first time using this cornmeal. And I have to say, I approve it. I mean, before you come in bed, go ahead, do it, try, and then you tell me. It tastes really, really good. Here we go, guys. The panuozzo is about to be ready. Let me, let's go ahead and let's finish up. This is how it looks like. Did you see how it come out? Fantastic. While it's hot, we're going to go ahead, cut it. We should cut everything. Did you see how it is inside? Let's go ahead. Let's put a little bit of uh, fresh, uh, the, 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 the mozzarella that was uh, the smoked mozzarella. Now let's add our burger one. And two, now again, I like to put a little bit of uh, uh, fresh mozzarella again on top, even to this side, not too much. Little bit of pepper everywhere. Parmesan cheese, voila. Little bit of uh, olive oil. And now guys, let's go, let's finish up this beast in the oven. And let's put it right here in the front until the mozzarella starts to, to melt. Flame really low and uh, let's wait. We're gonna turn it a few times. We're gonna turn it a few times and then I wanna show it to you this panuozzo. That's how, how they make the panuozzo in Naples. You can put everything. You can put whatever you want. But basically the most typical one is with the cheese, sausage and rapini. <laughs> I'm still thinking about this pizza. Wow. Okay guys, the, the panuozzo, it's ready. And then make sure Oh man, wow, let me finish up. I want to show it to you nice and crunchy. I mean, guys, this is, this is our lovely panuozzo. Please tell me what you think in the comment. It come out perfect, nice and crispy. And see, wow. So and let's see, see how, look how crunchy it is. Shh, 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 shh. Wow! And this is how you serve our wow. panuozzo. Smash the like. like! Guys, just in time, let me taste this. <laughs> A pizza! A pizza! Yeah. Just in time, it's getting dark. Guys, I mean, tell me what you think of this pizza oven below. The bread here, this is how, I mean, this is how it come out. Lovely. It breaks really quick. It's crunchy. And so, wow. This cornmeal flour, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put, make it again for sure. Guys, remember. Aspetta, papa. I love you. Uh, guys, if you wanna get this pizza over in the dome, just come out today. Today is the 1st of March, 2022. Just in case you watch this video later on. Link in description. Make sure you click in the link in description. Add the PO and then add, and don't forget to add the code VITODOM at checkout. Thank you so much, guys. I see you every week with a new video. This is outstanding. Then you want to turn it off? Fuck off door, cool down, and uh, cover up, and let it put to sleep. <laughs> see you in the next one. Ciao!